All right, guys, this Wednesday, I'm giving away this $2,000 Joe Boris Genesis card. Not easy. This rookie little Genesis right here will be given away in the Fanatics Live app. I'll be live on Wednesday giving away this card plus thousands of dollars worth of product for the free to you guys. You guys do not have to pay for anything. You don't have to do anything like that. Just sign up. It'll be linked in the top description. You'll get sent a notification when you guys follow my Wax account. It is me. I own that company. Not Fanatics Live, but I own Wax. I'll be live over there on Wednesday doing some stuff literally just for the free for you guys. If you guys love sports or sports cards, if not, don't worry about it. If you're a degenerate, you guys actually might want to hang out with me. I'll be on there. So this is a $2,000 card I'll be giving away for the free, like I said. If you want to check it out, be linked in the top description. Just go follow it. That's easy. That's it. That easy. That's it. So go check it out. I'll be on there live this Wednesday, giving away stuff like this for the free to you guys. I don't care what you do with it. You can punt it, you can sell it, you can do whatever you want with it. But guess what? Someone's gonna get this card plus thousands of dollars worth of stuff for the free. So go check it out. I'll be linked in the top description and join me this Wednesday on Fanatics Live. All right, I've done a lot of work out on this place. And I, I am talking a lot of work. I just paid the guy a little over $40,000 today alone for working on my property, building out this lake. Well, all the roads are already done, the food plots and everything like that is done. But we're still building a lake. And you guys will see that here in a second. But I want to say, I, I'm a little concerned. And I know Gabe is probably watching this and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. These roads going in and out of my place, they gum up so bad and it's raining right now. They gum up so bad when it rains. And when I mean gum up, guys, you know when you walk through like clay, like a certain kind of clay, six to your feet, and they become like, they weigh like 40 pounds and you have to walk like this. That's what happens in here. And I'm a little concerned if I do kill a deer, gonna have to... <laughs> probably gonna have to cut it up out there and take it out piece by piece because I, I don't know I, I, I just I just know if I go down in here and, and I'll start sliding around and it could get a little hex gonna throw that out there so I'm trying to think this through because we have rain coming and I need to be in there in the next 40 minutes or so I had, to, I had to order one of these I couldn't find mine and I've got a little bit of an issue my 300 wooden Mac one of my one of my favorite rifles look at this a little bit of a little bit of an issue there We're gonna have a scope cam action today. Oh jeez. You know what, I'm gonna share with you guys what I was doing with this prior and how you can have kind of an understanding why we're hunting a construction zone as of right now. Matter of fact, I don't know where this road, I don't know where this one goes. I've actually never driven down this road. Oh wow, that was, that was actually phenomenal. Look at you. That's why we keep you around. He found a screwdriver in the ground, randomly. And he's like, oh no, you know what? I don't know how to get that off. Yeah, I left that on an accident. No big deal, not super shocking. We're over here at my place. They're pushing dirt and a lot of dirt. They have uh, cored out the dam, which I'm walking to right now. And I'm pretty excited about one thing, which I didn't think that we were gonna have a ton of here. And is this right here, these giant rocks. Yes, big old giant rocks. Looks like to be everywhere. I'm gonna have the guy go ahead and just kind of put them in a, uh, maybe a pile or maybe just pile them up randomly. And I'm gonna come out here with a skid steer and probably move him into the places where I would like them. Right now I'm sitting on what would be the top of the dam. And we're looking into, I guess you'd say probably the deepest part you guys know here would be the end of the dam as you guys can see right here. Look at this. This is the core of the dam right through there. Now we're sitting on the outer edges. Be truthful at this current point i don't really know if he's moving dirt to find more clay to put in here to kind of like seal this gap up i don't really know do you, do you know by any chance by any chance do you know is he actually just moving clay to put into here yeah to fill that's what's going on currently oh, yeah he kept it open in case we start getting some big rains it would flow through and still build up until he's ready for it to okay. start filling up well, how deep is this you think right here if you were to take a good guess uh, he's walking down the day like i could park my truck here and another truck on top of it pretty easily and probably another one on top of that. Yeah, that's pretty far, dude. Yeah, probably 30, 35 foot right here. So one of the things I'm going to do at this place is kind of what I did the last place. We had some rock available. So I think we should take some of these rock. I think we're gonna pick them up. And since we got like this elongated point right here, I think we're gonna kind of like place them like through here. These don't look that big, but I'm telling you guys, those are, those are pretty, those are pretty voluptuous. Well, look at this. We got ourselves a big old rocky point here. Put some space in between the rocks. I stacked a couple of them. Some of them are stacked. Uh, give them a little, a little bass, a little hideout. You know what I mean? I might build these really like over, oversized plastic things 
I have PVC things to actually see if they work, some type of structure. I was told that there was a study that came out that bass would rather go to a black structure, like they put a black dot on a wall and a white dot, and the bass like hovered around the black dot. So I kind of wanted to test it out because this is going to be clean. I should make a white one and an all black one and see which one actually holds a ton of fish. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go down. Let's talk to uh, Mr. Oklahoma himself. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. If you guys are new to the channel, this man is Oklahoma when you look it up in the definition on Wikipedia. Like he, it's him. A picture of him would show up. And no, I'm not talking about Gabe. Gabe's just a Neanderthal. When you look up that, that's, that's Gabe. Hey, Rob. Hey, how you doing? Looks like you've been digging a lot. Been digging a little. How you doing? Good. Good, to see you. good, good. How I'll much longer? The other two boys, they're sick today. Everybody's getting that damn COVID again. I told them to stay, keep their ass away from me. <laughs> <laughs> how oh, shoot. How much deeper did you say? I'm sorry. It'll be another 10 foot deeper for that doger setting. 10 foot deeper, wow, yeah. okay. That core down there was over 24 foot deep. We had to core it out. How much money uh, are you? Oh, two, 300,000 would be nice. This year, up to today, was $41,865. You got a lot of dip on your door. Oh, this son of a bitch here, you couldn't believe how dirty. This is my work pickup now. He said, oh, I'm putting that up. He was, he was putting it in his damn pickup. That's why you can't hire methods. Well. Actually, you're just exactly right. And this boy <laughs> is, is a damn pothead. Oh. And those potheads is just as bad as those meth heads. <laughs> one of the beautifulest blondes you could ever lay your eyes on. Built like a brick shit house. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you right there. I've never heard someone say their granddaughter's built like a brick shit <laughs> house. Was, she was dead. She's built huh. like a racehorse, man. All right, so I think I got a good way I can, I can share with you guys while sitting here on the ground. It's hard to it's hard to picture it through a lens, especially a wide-angle lens. Where we're sitting here, Gabe believes that this is going to be the, the water level. You think it's not up there? It's somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm going to say right in here. Okay. This is the water level on this end. There's the dam. It flows all the way around. You guys see right there? There's a core they're going to have to pretty much just stop up from everything flowing into here. They're going to come through and then back up this way. Okay, it's going to take a really long time. All right, original creekish bed, whatever we're gonna call this, drainage. There's Gabe. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's mixed in with him. He's right, uh, right there, I think. There, yeah, there's Gabe, right there. Yes. Now look, let me just pan right. There is one point that kind of comes off, but look at that. The dozer, you can barely see him. You guys know how big that thing is. Still kind of hard to convey how deep it really is. <laughs> brisket in the front.
fairly confident that was a pretty good shot. Damn, they were really, really, really eating on that food plot. That makes me so happy to see. But I'm pretty sure I just poked a pretty decent hole in her. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in that shot. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I'm hoping that this was really in focus for you guys. I don't know if it was. I hope it was my first time using it. I had to test it out. I needed to get some meat. That's so important. I spent so much money on this place. I haven't harvested any deer off of this piece of property, and I, I just felt like I needed to. And I'm also picking up meat tomorrow, so may as well drop some off while I pick some up. Man, there was quite a bit more dough. I didn't even see it coming from over here. When I took that shot, there was like three or four more that were making their way across. So over here just grazing. Well, it's now 5'11". I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these Garmin watches, but I'm kind of falling in love with this thing. Lojo kind of put me on it. It even has like this cool little light thing on the front, which I'm gonna try to use in it. Look at that. A little flashlight on the front of it. Lojo got me on this thing. Let me see if this thing's awesome or not. Cool watch though. Oh God. Well, look at this. They were eating on the food plot. That makes me so happy. And I, I feel like I chose the one that had the big brisket, kind of the older one. So I feel good about that. I feel like the shot was pretty good. There is a, I just want you guys to know, I've got some giants out here. And when I mean giants, I'm talking like probably the biggest deer I'll ever kill. Oh my God, there's doe right here. Look at this. Is my scope cam still on? Oh, it is. Look. What in the world? We got so many doe here. I don't know. I just really wanted to get some more meat going into fishing season. I love having a ton of deer jerky and deer sticks. My God, this stuff's nasty back in here, though. Look at this. Really wanted to come back and grab one of my knives. These were sent to me by Half Face Blades. He's a Navy SEAL that makes knives. Makes them amazing knives, actually. I got to meet him in person here a couple weeks ago. And I want to use one of his knives to skin. I wanted to use this one. It's a little thinner. Oh yeah, there's a skin and knife. Look how clean that is. Always got to support veterans. Especially cool guys like that. He's a cool guy. All right, let's take this just in case, but I feel pretty confident in that thing. So they actually all came in from that wood line, which I thought they were actually gonna come from down over there. Oh yeah, I was sitting in that hole. You guys can't even see it. Wow, that's a really good spot. He was, or they were somewhere about right here. All right, first little sign. That chunk of hair right there. I saw some, there's some hair right here as well. This one's actually got meat on it though. Okay, I'm gonna say she ran this way. I see a fresh broken limb right there. You guys can see it, bright white. I'm gonna say she ran this way. Look, I see this kicked up stuff right through here. This is freshly kicked up right through here. Oh, I think I got her. I think I got her. Oh yeah, I got her. There she is. Oh man. There she is. Damn. Oh my God. That didn't feel good right in the nuts. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. There we go. Got him. Got me some meat coming in here. The only problem is she's kind of, God, I am stuck in all the thick stuff. Oh, she's down here. She Powell drived herself through the, the thickness and landed herself right here. I was just following her. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's kind of hard if you guys look down. It's really wet, clearly. Then you have brown. Wet and brown, really hard to find blood. So I was just trying to find like maybe her like losing her footing or stepping when she was running. You know what I mean? Like kicking up some of the the leaves it kicked up stuff way up there and i just kind of slightly followed it and then i kind of lost it and there she was so oh my god i punctured a hole through her oh goof. good lord baby girl all right headlamp secure let's go ahead and get her out of here oh. Oh. oh right in the face that didn't feel good Oh yeah, that was the exit wound. There's the entry, okay. It's actually not bad. There's the entry right above where it needs to be. Might just because it was such a close shot. The bullet hadn't, you know what I'm saying, inside the reticle. I hadn't hit that apex where it needs to be. Now comes the farm part. YouTube, I know you absolutely love this. Oh, there we go. 
one of my favorite parts of a deer right there and hang it well i don't really have anywhere to hang it this is a really good knife that's a really good knife Gotta go back for the other legs here in a second. This is gonna need a cleaning. My God, that's gonna rust. Good, 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 good. My wife had no idea, I don't think, that I was even gonna hunt tonight. Quartered out a deer, killed a deer, quartered it out, found it in what, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, what was that? I'm actually falling, like look at this, 74%, this, this, apparently this watch lasts like a 30 days or something. I think it was 21 days or 31 days. That's pretty nuts. Oh no, no, did you guys see that? Did I run over something? Oh, that's in four high, let's just go ahead and give this a shot. I must've ran over something, oh no. No, that's not good. That's not good, I guarantee you I ran over something. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to tell. Son of a... Oh my God, it looks like I'm wearing socks. And it's December. Cannot imagine what that's gonna look like come February when I'm hanging out inside of Florida in the crisp, actually I say crisp, nice warm weather. Cause here it'll be very crispy. I don't know if you guys remember, in the back of this truck, I had a little bit of an issue. I spent about an hour today. Oh good, look, it looks pretty good. There was so much cement stacked up inside of there. And we spent over an hour today trying to get it out. So I feel real good about that. I had to share it with you guys because I felt like I accomplished something. And then I ended up actually, well, that deer that we have, this is just one of the bags. I, I already quartered it out clearly. And uh, well, I just decided to debone it completely and I'm gonna give it to my mom. She wants some meat, so I'm gonna give her some meat. So there's a good thing about it. We don't waste meat inside this family. My mom said she wanted some, but look at the inside of my dang garage right now. If you guys did not know, we're gonna be hitting it really, really hard this year when it comes to fishing. We're gonna be hitting it really hard. I'm pretty, pretty dang excited about it, especially when we get the ambulance in. We're gonna be doing a lot of fishing trips, hunting trips, and so on. But I wanna share with you guys, have you guys ever heard of this company? This one right here, we got Bates. Yes, Bates Reels. Very interesting. I am. I am very curious on these, but this is what I've been doing. We have a big tournament coming up at the end of January. I know I'm not like going mega deep. I guess we're going to be fishing. That's a very serious kind of tournament trail, but I'm not going to be going on the single path of the tournament stuff because I like the idea of tournament fishing. I just do not have the time and the, I cannot separate myself from doing so much business stuff. I like to make YouTube videos and hang out and do business stuff. I don't, I, I someday maybe I'll be able to part ways with all the business and everything else and just focus on that, but who knows? Probably not. But the end of January prep has begun completely in this place is an absolute mess but i am really excited about it so make sure to check us out we'll be over on the app on wednesday this coming wednesday i really hope you guys had a fantastic thanksgiving 2024 is coming up i'm going to be doing over 200 videos minimum next year super jacked about it we got a new camera guy we're testing out here in a week and a half or so we'll give it a shot and see how it does so i do love you guys thanks for hanging on me i'm about to just be right back <laughs>